The John Conyers accuser finally breaking her silence. Marion Brown now speaking out, saying Congressman Conyers, quote, violated her body and frequently propositioned her for sex. Marion Brown says she was fired in 2014 after 11 years for refusing Conyers' advances. Marion Brown was a worker who got 27000 in taxpayer money, initially agreed, agreed to keep quiet, but is speaking out now. John Conyers was reportedly hospitalized today in the Detroit area after Marion Brown spoke out. Joining me now, former Florida Congressman, retired Lieutenant Colonel Allen West. Good to see you, Colonel. Good to be with you, Liz. Do you think Congressman Conyers should resign? Well, I tell you, there has to be a consistency of standard when it comes to sexual harassment and abuse. When we hear people saying that Judge Roy Moore should drop out of a race, or when we see how swiftly people like at NBC or CBS are acting to fire individuals, I think that Congress needs to understand that they cannot have this uh, elite club where they are protecting people. We need to know, very frankly, you know, all of the folks that have been participating in this uh, taxpayer-funded slush fund, and I think that John Conyers does need to step down because he is a distraction. Uh, and, you know, we need to allow this process to continue on. But the Ethics Committee up there in the House and the Senate, we know what they will do. They'll just brush this over and they'll try to wait it out. A week after saying John Conyers deserves due process, Congressman Nancy Pelosi is calling on John Conyers to resign as a Congressman Paul Ryan and Congressman Clyborne. Let's listen. It just called her Conyers to resign. I said he should resign. But yesterday, Democrat Congresswoman Kathleen Rice said Pelosi's original response to these accusations set, set, set women back decades. That's what Kathleen Rice said. So was Nancy Pelosi's defense of John Conyers of an example of how victims are not so readily believed? Well, it depends on the political uh, affiliation of the victim, it seems. Because when you look at the women who accused Bill Clinton, they were to be discredited and not to be believed. And even on uh, Sunday, on Meet the Press, when press, Nancy Pelosi came out and said, who are these people? We don't know who they are. And she called John Conyers an icon. But when you had the backlash, the severe backlash that she received, you know, Monday and Tuesday, then she has corrected her statement. So I don't want to see sexual harassment, sexual abuse politicized, but there's a little bit of a, a, a fragrance of that happening in Washington, D.C. Bill Clinton accuser Juanita Broderick says the former president raped her and should have his pension taken away and is now asking why Bill Clinton did not come under the same scrutiny as all of the people today who are being accused of sexual harassment and assault. What are your thoughts there? Well, back then with President Clinton, we were told that morality was not an issue. We know uh, what happened with, uh, you know, Monica Lewinsky and the women who accused Bill Clinton, but there were never any charges brought forth. So the thing is, if, if we are going to continue to go down that road of trying to dismiss moral behavior with our elected officials, you know, we've got to have a correction. And I think that's the correction that we're seeing, and that's why a lot of people are going back and looking at Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton and what they did and how they persecuted those uh, accusers, those women. And so I think that you're seeing a different sense now where it's not just about the economy, but it really is about a moral standard that we are expecting of our elected officials. Colonel Allen West, thank you so much, sir. Thanks for coming on.